वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू कंप्यूटर स्टडी स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ इंग्लिश मीडियम चैप्टर नंबर फोर मेमोरी स्टोरेज डिवाइस एंड डेटा रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिस इज पार्ट टू सो लेट्स बिगिन now in the part 1 video we had studied that uh, there are two types of uh, memory in the computer that is primary memory and secondary memory right now from primary memory also there are two kinds of primary memory that is ram that is random access memory and rom that is read only memory now regarding ram i taught you everything in part 1 now this part 2 video in this part 2 video i am going to teach you about rom that is read only memory you may be having so many questions in your mind that what is this read only memory or how does it looks right how does it work why is it known as primary memory so after watching this small video you will get the answers to all this questions dear students this is the image of a rom now why i am showing you the image of the room it is because simply just uh, knowing the full form that room is uh, read only memory instead of that if you have seen the actual picture whenever any person speaks about that room or whenever you are taught about room at that time this image will come into your mind and it will be very much easy for you to understand the thing in a proper way here also we can see the images of rom fixed on the motherboard now before i teach you further about uh, rom i would like to tell you one thing that all those who are new on my channel please do subscribe the channel and continue watching the video this channel is going to be helpful to you in standard 9 10th 11th and 12th so all four years you will be able to be updated okay so first please subscribe the channel and there after continue watching the video and if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button so let's begin now i will be teaching you some important things about rom from which mcqs could be asked now all the words which i have marked in red color and in bold that word could be forming the answer of those mcqs this thing will uh, remain throughout the video so that every time i will not uh, have to waste time in just telling you that from here mcq could be asked so let's begin now first thing rom is a primary memory there are two types of primary memory ram and rom another thing rom is used to permanently uh, record the data and instructions and hence we can say that rom is a permanent memory unlike ram rom retains its contents even when the computer is turned off rom is an ideal memory to store the critical instructions in the computer such as boot program what is the boot program the program that start up the computer when you press the power button and the system uh, loads that is known as booting process now see one thing important thing that uh, when you purchase a new computer okay when you have not installed any of the operating system then what is displayed when you start the computer does anybody know you may not be knowing it will display the basic instructions written inside rom and that also i am going to display you that exactly what does it displays and what does the rom contains okay so let's see that thing this is the screen which will be displayed when you start the computer in which any of the operating system is not installed even even if you install any of the operating system you can go to the rom bios setting and see all this settings now as we studied just now that rom is a permanent memory 
so all these instructions which are written here they are permanent even if you switch off the computer or even if you format the computer all these things will remain as it is one more thing i would like to tell you or inform you is that you all are knowing that you can set a password in the user for example in the computer when you log in there are two users that is admin and guest now if you set the password to admin then that account will not open without the password but the master password of the whole computer could be set from this dialog box here you can see the third option security if you set a password over here then you will get 100% security of your computer rom could be classified into four types first type that is simple rom read only memory second one is prom that is programmable read only memory third one eprom erasable programmable read only memory and fourth one is electrically erasable programmable read only memory now see just now i explained you that there are four different types of rom from which the first type that is simple rom i already explained you so now we will uh, try to understand the second type of rom that is prom the full form is programmable read only memory now what is this uh, programmable read only memory it is a blank chip when it is manufactured it is manufactured as a blank chip no program no instructions nothing are written on it thereafter data and program is written on it with a special device called prom programmer now a question will arise in your mind that sir then what is the use of this thing who purchases this thing who writes the instructions am i right so i will try to explain you this thing with an example for example if a company wants to manufacture a washing machine then in washing machine there are so many switches and knob and so many thing now company needs to fit a chip inside the washing machine in which the instructions are written that this switch has to do this function by pressing that switch this thing should happen like that way each and every switches function should be stored in one chip right now how will uh, the company solve this task first thing it will have to purchase a blank chip and then through the with the help of this prom programmer it will write this programs of each function of each and every switch the third type of uh, rom is eprom now what is eprom what is the full form of eprom eprom means erasable programmable read only memory now in uh, rom and prom we had studied that the contents which are written in it could be read but you cannot erase the contents am i right while here in eprom you get the facility to erase the content by exposing it to the ultraviolet light now in uh, the images you can see that in the center there is a small circular open hole right now if that part is exposed to the ultraviolet uh, light the contents will get erased one more thing i would like to share with you and that is uh, my feelings about the textbook now i don't understand the textbook writer or authors of the textbook has uh, designed the book in such a way that most of the chapters are of theory type now computer is a practical subject and so many chapters total 8 chapters of theory real headache for the children but i am helpless and another thing also i would like to say is now here i am trying to explain you all the chapters by downloading so so many images and trying to trying to explain you in so many different ways but the same thing if you try to read the things from the textbook you will never get clear about all this concept rom and prom and eprom and eeprom and so really pathetic uh, situation
the last type of uh, room is ee prom so we all are familiar with ee prom we all use it in our pen drives and uh, memory card and so many places so first what is the full form of ee prom the full form is electrically erasable programmable read only memory now EEPROMs are very helpful in manufacturing pen drives cellular phones memory card of a mobile phone or digital camera portable mp3s and micro sd cards now why is it helpful and how is it uh, rom this all concepts i will clear now first thing in your memory card or in your smartphone can you add any program that is can you install any program can you add data what is the adding of data you can download a song that will get stored you can click a picture that will get stored so that is known as programming so is programming possible in that uh, read only memory yeah it is possible so it is programmable read only memory another thing can you erase the contents yeah you can delete any file you can uninstall any program am i right and in that do you need uh, this thing ultraviolet rays or ultraviolet light no it could be simply erased electrically that is why this thing is known as electrically erasable programmable read only memory hope this concept is clear now the second last topic of this video is firmware now first question what is a firmware <laughs> now i will not explain you the same topic again because i had explained this topic in chapter number 1 it was explained in the second part video so you can try to understand if you have forgotten the thing from that video fine we continue the concept of rom or prom can be used to create a firmware firmware is to be stored in a non volatile that is permanent memory such as rom or prom for example the instructions written about uh, any of the device such as a washing machine it should be stored permanently it should not go away such firmwares are developed by the hardware manufacturing company and are provided free while one purchases the hardware so again we take the same example of a washing machine that when we purchase the washing machine naturally what each switches has to do that chip rom will come fixed or prom will come fixed in the washing machine and that will be given free now there is no case of giving free naturally they have to give that thing otherwise the device will not work another thing another option is to download such firmware from the company's online store or website for example if i purchase a new printer then they provide me a cd in which the printer drivers are available if i lost that cd then what to do i can even download that software from their store many a time firmware is needed to be updated same as our mobile phone our mobile phone operating system is also to be updated and apps are also to be updated many mobile phone users uses firmware over the air that is so uh, this thing is fota to update the mobile firmware not some of the companies but all the mobile companies provide this facility only we do not need wires to be connect uh, to connect our mobile phone with the computer and to update no nothing it is available online and we have to straight away download the things right the firmware normally supports the functions such as controlling the hardware and facilitating the use of the hardware because of this reason user are allowed to update the firmware for example if i am using mi phone now if mi company launches some new features i should be able to take the advantages of that new feature so naturally i should be able to allowed to update my phone many of the companies stores firmware in a hidden form for example inside a washing machine traffic lights digital camera microwave oven etc now here no changes are possible in the firmware now 
in all these devices you will not be able to find out that where that chip is fixed in which all these instructions are written neither you are able to make any updates or changes in that thing now we will see that uh, ram and rom both are primary memory then what are the differences between them so the first difference ram is a random access memory while rom stands for read only memory second thing ram supports reading and writing operations into the computer while rom supports only read option now i hope that you all are clear about this ram what is ram because it was in part 1 video many of them have forgotten for example if you are typing a letter and you have not saved it anywhere then that document is stored in ram so here in ram you are able to add the data or change the data so it provides you both the functions reading and writing third thing is data and instructions are stored into it during its operation naturally when you are typing a letter at that time the data will be stored in the ram while in rom the instructions are stored into it during its manufacturing and the last difference is ram is a volatile memory that is temporary memory while rom is a non volatile that is permanent memory now the last topic of this video is what is cache remember uh, the correct pronunciation is cache some of them pronounce is as catchy catch <laughs> right this all are wrong pronunciation now there is a high speed storage mechanism called cache it is there in our uh, smartphones also and in our personal computer or laptop also cache memory is a small and high speed memory within the computer central processing unit for frequent access the purpose of such memory is to increase the speed of the computer's processor when the processor needs to perform any read or write operations it first checks the cache memory so this was all about cache memory so here we complete this video if you have liked the video please hit the like button and if you are new on my channel please do subscribe the channel and stay connected now we meet in the next video goodbye